The Extraordinary Earth Project is underway. We've received over 45,000 pieces of art from students all around the world. But we need more art, a lot more. Here's why. So we started doing the plastic cleanup work with Solgard in 2019. In total, we're almost at 2 million pounds of plastic collected and prevented from the ocean, which is harming the lives of all sorts of little fish, little critters. The most important thing for young people to know in this is that you can help affect change. By participating in the Extraordinary Earth Project, for each piece of art you create, we're preventing five pounds of plastic from entering the ocean. So Choose Love is an organization that supports refugees and displaced people around the world. Since 2008, over 21 million people have been forced to leave their homes because of climate-related weather disasters. And right now, there are more people displaced because of climate change than any other reason in the world. The process of creating art can help create change. For each piece of art we receive, $5 will go to tackling the climate crisis. That means money going directly to our partner organizations so they can continue the hard work to help save our world. The National Wildlife Federation's vision focuses on safe, equitable access to clean water, air, and land to ensure all wildlife, people, and ecosystems thrive. The sad truth is that the climate crisis is here. It's affecting wildlife, it's affecting people adversely. One thing that I want a student participating in the Extraordinary Earth Project to know is that they can truly make an impact. One piece of art through this program uh, funds our work in climate education. Eden got started in 2005, primarily as a tree planting organization, as a way of addressing poverty. Reforestation is us planting trees where forests used to be, trying to re-establish forests. Obviously the climate crisis is something that's deeply concerning to all of us. We all want to live on a healthy planet. Little Amal is a 10-year-old Syrian refugee. She's a fictional character that we created. The main idea behind Little Amal is to create a change in the narrative and to invite people to think what it takes to take care of a 10-year-old that wandered into the neighborhood, into their streets, and needs help. The world is becoming more and more unstable climate-wise, and this is affecting a lot of people. And a lot of the support um, that we receive from Students Rebuild is channeled towards activities to help families. Our goal is to raise $1.5 million with your art. We've already made an impact, but there's so much amazing work still to do. We've got a few months left, so make an impact today. Every work of art counts. You matter, and you can make a difference.